Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Fluctus channel. U.S. Navy aircraft carriers are capable of spending decades at sea without refueling. As part of this self-sufficiency, these massive ships have to be able to perform most repair functions themselves. That makes repair and maintenance shops, such as tire repair shops, a vital necessity. U.S. Navy aircraft carriers are platforms upon which many types of tires move. There are helicopter tires, plane tires, forklift tires, cranes, and tractor tires. This job falls to maintenance specialists who have to understand that an inflated tire has the same potential explosive release power as ordnance. Work in the ship's maintenance department is divided into various maintenance divisions. Each division specializes in a particular type of maintenance, such as airframes, power plants, or engines, avionics, ordnance, and so on. For tire-related tasks, the Aviation Structural Mechanic, or AM, is in charge of maintaining and repairing the aircraft fuselage, wings, fixed and movable surfaces, airfoils, tail assemblies, control systems, landing gear, tires, and other structural parts. All aviation tires and rims on board are deconstructed, inspected, replaced, and cleaned by the tire repair shop. Hey, I'm clean, huh? okay. Repaired tires are inflated with nitrogen to be returned to service. Beyond capable maintenance, or BCM, Tires are put aside to be removed from the vessel for recycling. Hydraulics play such an essential part in aircraft that it is one of the five main systems monitored by the air crew. Their control surfaces on the aircraft, as well as landing gear and many others, are powered by hydraulics. Hydraulics testing forms another crucial part of the services provided by maintenance shops aboard U.S. carriers. This is done by IM3 airframes and hydraulics. Not only is this fluid used in aircraft, but it also forms part of the ship system, such as launch and recovery systems. Therefore, these specialists are highly trained individuals. who work with hydraulics are trained to understand that different types of hydraulic fluids exist for various systems. Misusing these on systems they were not meant for could lead to failure or dramatically shorten the system's service life. After hydraulics, one of the most critical parts of an aircraft has to be its engines or power plants.
The IM-2 division of U.S. Navy carriers is in charge of maintaining and repairing aircraft power plants and related systems. Its members are well-versed in engine maintenance and repair. They use specialized tools and equipment to perform routine inspections and troubleshoot problems. They repair or replace damaged or worn parts and run tests to ensure engines operate correctly. work covers various aircraft jet engines, propellers, and rotor systems. They ensure that engines operate at peak performance, which is critical because engine performance directly affects an aircraft's operational capabilities. This division is also in charge of managing the relevant parts inventory, ensuring that critical spare parts are readily available. All tasks are performed in accordance with strict safety and quality standards, ensuring the readiness and safety of the carrier's aircraft fleet. Below the gallery deck, with the hydraulic shop, lies the main hangar deck. This is the largest single enclosed space on the carrier that is protected from the elements. In this area, the inspection and maintenance of aircraft is done, and it resembles a large auto shop. Inside the main hangar deck, routine and unscheduled maintenance is performed by the dedicated maintenance crew of the aircraft. Hey, how long you guys gonna be? Like two to three minutes. A maintenance crew for a F-8-18 Super Hornet aboard a U.S. Navy carrier comprises several specialized roles. Fuselage surfaces are the expertise of aviation structural mechanics. Aviation electricians' mates and aviation electronics technicians look after electrical and electronic systems. Finally, the weapon systems are handled by aviation ordnance men, known as AOs who do everything from loading and unloading ordnance to maintaining gun systems. AOs would not be able to do their job effectively were it not for various systems. AOs use weapons elevators to transport ordnance to the flight deck from magazines located deeper within the ship. Large, heavy-duty elevators are explicitly designed for safely and efficiently transporting ordnance. These elevators are part of a complex and highly coordinated process that ensures the correct ordnance is delivered to the correct aircraft in time for its mission. Once the ordnance arrives on the flight deck, the AOs load it onto the aircraft, a task that requires precision and care to ensure safety. All 
ordnance aboard U.S. Navy aircraft carriers is stored in the hangars of the vessel. The magazines are secure areas deep within the ship designed to store various types of ordnance, such as bombs, missiles, torpedoes, and aircraft gun ammunition. The magazine's precise placement and design are intended to improve safety and reduce the potential for damage in the event of an accidental detonation. Once the munition has been assembled correctly, it is loaded onto a bomb cart. The bomb cart is pushed to the weapon elevator, from where it goes directly up to the aircraft it was intended for. USS Nimitz-class aircraft carriers are able to carry up to 90 aircraft, displacing 104,200 long tons. Such a large vessel has to be prevented from drifting when not under engine power, and that is where the anchors come in. Six. Each Nimitz class carrier has two anchors, each weighing approximately 30,000 pounds. These anchors' chains are massive in scale. Each link in the chain is approximately 20 inches long and weighs about 360 pounds. One of the key players in manual anchor handling is Boatswain's Mates. The Boatswain's Mate, or BM, is one of the oldest and most versatile rates in the U.S. Navy. These sailors are responsible for maintaining the ship's exterior structures and deck equipment. They also play a crucial role in lookout duties and the navigation of the ship. the boatswain's mate is the backbone of a ship's crew. Aircraft carriers are run by over 6,000 sailors and personnel that work together to keep things operational. That includes often overlooked jobs, such as those performed by the deck and tile team. Deck and tile teams on U.S. Navy carriers play an important role in maintaining the ship's condition and safety. The deck team, which is often made up of boatswain's mates and other sailors, is in charge of managing and maintaining the ship's deck. Painting, cleaning, and rust control are among their responsibilities. We often forget that ships such as aircraft carriers have thousands of systems that help to keep them running, from maintenance of the vessel, tires, hydraulics, engines, and so much more, to the sailors responsible for maintaining the anchors and decks. A U.S. Navy aircraft carrier is the sum of its various departments put together. All of these individuals ensure that the vessel is a powerful vessel of war. That's the end of this video. We hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of our new content. See you next time.